but we still don't really know. So Audrey, what are you telling graduates in this regard of how to cope with this new transition? Well, I love what Gucci just said because she just described the whole truth about her. I just went to exactly what I was saying. You say it's okay, and it really isn't. You see, and you got to take the time and let it sink into your body. So if I was working with the kids, um, I would say, where are you feeling? You know, where is it in your body? And really get in touch with it. And this way, then you can release it and get it out. But you can't just go on. You can't just go on. It's all fine. You know, and no, you can't do it. That's why we have drug abuse. <laughs> yeah, I, think that, I, I always choose to grab the positive side of every situation and I think that's good and sometimes I think it can also be bad because it can come in the form of suppression of where I'm like just totally ignoring what I'm feeling instead of just accepting it like yeah you know this makes me feel a negative way let's feel this negative way for a second and then grab onto the positive I think that is so true. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, negative energy will actually affect the immune system, too. It, it, it does. Do you know our cells vibrate differently when we're negative and when we're positive? That, that's kind of the science of it. And that you need really? to time, yes. Yes, absolutely. And what, what do you mean by that? How do they vibrate differently? Well, everything affects us. You know, we're made of energy. Right. And, and what I do is a lot of looking at that level with energy. It's like sometimes doctors will, we have doctors as patients now in, the, in, in seasons we have. And they don't, they're exhausted. They are exhausted. And they don't take time to look at the energy. They're raised in mid school. Well, work 16, 20 hours. Well, what about the energy of how this is affecting their bodies? So that's where the energy, looking at life through the energy. I, I don't know if you know anybody negative who you're, who's in your life. If you hang around with them too much, you could jump at somebody shaking them. You could actually get ill. So I teach people to I teach people to put a shield around them and to notice how they feel. You can also have a toxic parent. A to, you know, your relatives can be really toxic, right? You got to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I Look toxic <laughs> Well, that will affect your body. And you can actually get sick from, from toxic people. And looking at this virus, it is the fear of it that is so toxic. And I went right. deep on it and what it did to our bodies. Oh my God. And I and I was thinking of spiritual immunity. What could I do to help people get out of the fear of what it does? But the fear is what we have to watch out So, Audrey, on a practical level, what can we do to address that kind of fear and negativity? Okay, practical, which is my New York way. I am now releasing all negative energy from my body, okay? And actually put like a light in your head on the top of you, a sunlight, and allow it to go through your body and clear it out like you shower. And go, I'm now releasing all this negative energy. And feel, like if I asked you, Gucci, where do you feel the pain of the loss in your body? I, I would say in my chest and my shoulders. Okay, that's really good. You see, people know what they feel. And then we would bring in some light in there. And then maybe give it a shape, see what's in there. And talk to it and say, I know you're in there. Yeah. And, well, let's get down. Like, let, let's, what are you doing there? And talk to it, make it a cartoon, give it a mouth, and then get to know it. And then it will release. See, the light always helps the darkness. So Audrey, do you also recommend meditation, yoga, things like that as part of releasing this negative energy? Absolutely, but right now I really recommend nature walking, you know. Are you guys getting out of the house and walking? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. got to see the yes. light. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Saying they're not. The producer Cam is shaking your head. In your body. <laughs> you can't be around these computers. You'll be yeah. depressed. It's too much, you know. Um, so you got to get out and be in the sun. The sun, the vitamin D, it's, it's, it's vital. Vital for us right now to survive this. Yes, it is. So true. 
And so what about someone who is not quite as self-aware as, as Gucci is? I mean, you know, she's pretty articulate and uh, clearly a very uh, self-aware, intelligent young woman. You know, I love about, this question. Yeah. <laughs> what about those folks? Oh, I love are, this question so you know, much. They're not, they don't know what's going on. They just know they feel an anger, you know, or, or frustration. I love it because when I work with addicts, my, my husband would say it's a tough room, <laughs> you know, it's, it's yeah. a tough crowd. Um, I love it because everybody feels pain. And one of the things about this virus is we all feel it. We all suffer the same. And that is the absolute truth about us. We are all understanding now what suffering is like the same. And we needed this unity, we really did. Mm. So I would say that um, you don't have to be evolved or think of this as a spiritual soul thing. You just have to be like, I'm suffering, I need to stop it. And I need to feel better. I need to go out and look at nature, take a walk and breathe and know that this too shall pass. I know that my mother always said, this too shall pass. Yeah. My Jewish mom, you know. Uh, there you go. So the first thing is just, the first thing is just to identify and yes. realize that it's there. I, I've been calling it, when you talk about pain, I've been calling it the pandemic now instead of the pain. Pandemic. Yeah, the pandemic. I <laughs> love it. It is so true. And so, so uh, true. What, Gucci, what are you doing then? to kind of uh, just uh, make yourself feel better and uh, and get through this with your, with your loved ones. Yeah, I'm seeking the positive from it all. I mean, that's all you can. It's just really the act of choice to feel better and to choose to think about something other than what's making you feel hurt. So I'm taking advantage of the fact that I pay rent to live at my house and before this pandemic, I spent all my time at work. So now I'm spending all my time at home, redoing my balconies, investing in plants. So I'm there with the nature. Um, and then appreciation. I, I used to hate the term that things could be worse because I'm like, but what about me and what I'm going through right now? But when you really look at it, things could have been worse. They could have shut the school down completely and we would have had to finish our credits next year. Yeah. Or the teachers could have just not made it as easy for us to transition. So I'm just thankful that we're here now and it's day 72 for me in quarantine and I love it. I'm saving a little bit of saving. I'm spending. <laughs> so, positive. Yeah. Positive. That's a positive. Saving instead of spending. That is yeah. a positive. We're Larry and Rob Mandel, the brothers in law, here on Go Country 105. Do you have a legal issue you need help with? We want to hear from you. Find us on Instagram and send us a message. Then tune in on Saturdays at 8 a.m. right here on Go Country 105. From all of us on the Brothers on Law Show, we want to give a big thank you to these sponsors who we've partnered with to help honor our local heroes and groups for going above and beyond for their community. We'd like to thank Ralph's, Whole Foods, Target, and Chipotle. Thank you for all you do in our community. Well, you brought up a good point, though, about like how have you changed from this virus, you see? That's yeah. the question. What is changed? Because it deepens you, and then you find out what really matters, right? Exactly. And the superficiality kind of goes, right? It's a, it's a really good thing to happen. Yes. That is a good thing. I mean, I think there are many positives that, you know, and which you touched on, you know, being at home, appreciating your home, appreciating the people that, that share your home, and just understanding that, yeah, you know, my, my wife calls it the attitude of gratitude, you know, that things, of course, you know, for you personally could, could be much worse, and so you have to, you know, relish in the things that are good around you. Hey, I, I wanted to know, Gucci, what are you going to do after you graduate? Well, I'm interning now in PR, so I'm still doing that, and my ultimate goal is public speaking, so this is a great start here. There you go. <laughs> On the radio. Yeah. Yes. 10 million listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, so, Audrey, a any other pearls that you can tell us about? Uh, you know, you've imparted so much good information and positive thoughts. Well, well I, as a spiritual uh, person on this journey for a long time, we all knew something was coming. You know, the world could, couldn't stay the way that it was. I mean, it's too much. It's an alchemy. It's called alchemy. 
you you um, you change from base metal into gold, humanness into divinity. That's what they call a change. And when people come to seasons rehab, they change. You know, you have to make a change, and the world needs to make a change. So tell us. And, yeah, I'm sorry, but you mentioned seasoned rehab, seasoned rehab a couple of times. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about that. Program. Well, I work there, and I also have my own private practice. But it's about going on journeys with people, and the pain is the, you know, and the drugs and the trauma, and the abuse and all that is the doorway in to transformation, and that's the way you need to look at it. We need to have a new perspective right? Something breaks you to let the light in. And so this virus is breaking us. And the break needs to happen with the environment, the climate, the way people treat each other. This is is, is like we've, it's too much and it broke. And this on a spiritual level is a prophecy. And there's always, you know, been people who talked about the golden age, and there's a lineup in the sky. We are in it. And, and we are in a great change. And this is a great opportunity to make that change as people to care. Like you, the man you had on, he, he's so beautiful to, to care. We need to care. We don't need to be on the right. We don't need to be on the left. We need to be in the center. We need to care. So when people come in and they're in pain, oh, my God, the journey is just incredible. You could change very quickly, too, if it's a, if it's a really deep change. But, but if somebody needs, um, you know, someone like yourself to counsel them through, to get them through this moment, because, you know, not everyone is treating everyone else better right now. You know, we've seen that in the news lately. So that I think there are a lot of good people stepping up and treating each other better, but there's still a lot of, you know, uh, bad things going on and people who are not uh, getting the message that you'd like them to get. So how, how does somebody uh, take advantage of a rehab program or some kind of counseling program to, to uh, you know, get the perspective well, you guys do law, and, and, and you work with, you probably therapists. Sure. In our own way, yes, of course. You know, people come in, and you hear the problems, and it's bad sometimes. Yeah. But it's the beginning of a change, right? Yeah, and we want to affect that change. Yes. And what's, you know, they break up, maybe you do, you know, divorce, and it seems like it's the worst thing in the world. But it's just the universe giving you the more cup. This has to stop because this is no longer good for you. And that's what happens with people. We get a little nudge and we don't listen. And, and to your point, no, not everybody's going to get it. And we don't need everybody to get it. Everybody's free to do what they want. But enough people will get it. Wasn't it one of the great people who said just a small bunch needs to get it? And, you know, the frequency of that, you know, Tesla said everything's frequency, and so the frequency of that kind of thing will change. And so I think the answer no, is also perspective. We need really, really good perspective no. about why things happen. They happen for our highest good. 